Hey, Jill and Bill, I have your, uh, actually I have two designs for you. Um, I found a way that I think we can cheat and gain a little bit of square footage on the second floor. Um, this is the, uh, the version that I think you're going to wind up going with. Uh, it gives you an idea of what we're looking at from the exterior. All right, I didn't draw the deck in the back because that's not really part of the scope of work, so I'm not too concerned about it. But uh, for the sake of argument, I included this square footage here as part of your overall square footage in the house. So if they want to say, you know, 50% of your square footage is what you're allowed to build upstairs. Um, I'm thinking that it's going to wind up looking something like this. If, uh, if I go from the first floor to the second floor. Do, 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 let me make a couple little changes here. Okay, so uh, going up the staircase to the rear of the house, to the second floor, uh, taking down this wall between the two rooms, adding that uh, coat closet pantry to the um, end of the hallway. Uh, so you go upstairs, and once you get upstairs, uh, because we need the extra space for the staircase to get to the rear of the house, the rear of the house you can see here is cantilevered. Uh, let me see, how much did we can a lever? One foot seven. Okay, so you're going up the staircase to the rear, turn around the hallway. Um, shouldn't say bedroom. So you have a closet at the front, nice big linen closet for this long bathroom here with a shower stall at the end. Nice large walk-in closet for this bedroom. Um, I always like to show furniture layout in a bedroom so that you can get an idea of where the furniture should probably most likely go uh, so you don't have any conflicts with windows or anything. As you can see here with the solid headboard on the front of the house, I put the windows to the side. So it gives you this look here with the separate windows. And a window in the corner, which is in a bad spot. Uh, so that window in the corner for cross ventilation. And then over here in this bedroom, I have a window in the corner for cross ventilation, another window over here, so you get the cross ventilation this way. Um, and then two clo reaching closets. Um, also, uh, rule of thumb is you always want to present the bed to the door, so when you walk in, you're, you have the, the bed showing directly to the door. So that's what I have in both instances. And then a small dresser at the foot of the bed where you're normally going to put, um, if it's a kid's room, they normally put a TV on top of the dresser or the men's chest. Um, similar in this bedroom, men's chest with a TV, and this would be the ladies dresser with a mirror over it. Um, so uh, actually I have to add some dimensions to this before I send it out to you so you can get an idea of scale and size. So that will be on the PDF of the drawings. Do, do, do. I think that's pretty good. Um, and then I had another design which was based on uh, so actually I have the renderings for this design on the first page of the drawings and then the floor plan of the drawing and then on the next page it's just uh, two-dimensional color line drawings of the design but now going to this design this is a more compact smaller design based on the assumption that I was not going to include this area here in the floor plan uh, so If I bump up into this drawing and I show you can I review this one. So it's you know it's similar design, but it's more compact. This wall is moved more over to the right, and you lose that window in the uh, front because it is a closet. Um, see, the other one I think it was a closet too, but it was a large enough closet. I don't know, it keeps opening to this one. But it was a large enough closet where you know you're probably going to have this window with a shade behind it all the time you could also do a frosted window for privacy um, generally you don't want to have a window in a closet because it fades the clothing but for the sake of the exterior design it really needed it otherwise it would have had that blank uh, vinyl wall so this floor plan more compact um, as you can see, you go up the stairs and we turn. So it makes 
turning to the right instead of turning to the left. Uh, actually, I'm going to open up both floor plans so you can see them side by side. So this is the fl first floor plan. This is the second floor plan. So on this plan, you were coming up and turning to the left. It allowed the whole bathroom and the bedroom to shift over to the left. And it also stacks the wet wall downstairs uh, with the bathroom below, uh, which is another reason why I like this floor plan. Um, I don't think you need to go with this floor plan on the right because I think we'll be able to convince the town that this is part of your square footage and it will not push you over the 50% square footage uh, renovating the house and then pushing you into new septic systems. Um, I'll add some dimensions to this one also just so you can get a feel for both plans and then just give me some feedback let me know what you think um, and uh, we'll take it from there for the next revision. Um, I might have gotten lucky and nailed this on the first try and maybe we don't even need any revisions uh, so just give me some feedback let me know what you think. Thank you.